What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, finally, freaking Friday. We are here, of course, trying to keep the pressure on Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones. And we're doing, maybe I should call this, this is what going all in looks like. Earlier, I talked about um, the Cowboys, um, Patrick Queen, who is a linebacker uh, for the uh, Baltimore Ravens, or was a linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. He is now a free agent, and so he's going to be out there, and we have a need at linebacker, okay? This is a guy who's 24 years old, playing at elite level every year, second team, all pro, and so on. So when we talk about going to get guys that are all in, that's an all in type of guy. Just saying that's all in. Um, here's another spot that we have a hole. Now we still don't know who our defensive coordinator is going to be and what kind of game plan we're going to have on that. But interestingly, Marcus Speard told Derek Henry at the uh, pro bowl to go to the Cowboys. Now let's check this out. I want you guys to hear what this is, what, what, what this is about. Okay, let me see if I can get it playing. Uh, so. For Derrick Henry. Uh, we had Jerry, a fan. Jerry yep. said he's all in. We had, there were red zone issues last year. <laughs> there was a, a need for a physical back. And shout out to Rico Dowdle. I thought he did a good job. Tony Pollard is not a every down back. I think we saw that. I think we said that. Derrick Henry should be a priority for the Dallas Cowboys. If you want to be a physical running football team and you want to have a big physical back in the red area to dictate what teams have to do defensively to defend you in that area of the field, this should be your call. I said it during the season. I'm going to continue to say it. Derrick Henry should be a top priority for the Dallas Cowboys mm -hmm. if they are trying to go all in and have an opportunity to win a championship. Tell him, so, Greg. So, so I will say this, Marcus – Spears is not one of those guys that is all about TV. Marcus Spears will tell you. Where is the right landing spot for Derrick Henry? Uh, we had Jerry, a fan. Jerry they, said he's all in. All right, so take that for what you will. Derrick Henry would definitely be a player you look at and say, <clears throat> and actually I should have done it while I was listening to it. Derrick Henry would be a player that you would definitely need. When you think about the playoffs, two problems that the Cowboys had, running the football and stopping the run. I know everybody wants to say, you know, it's just Dak Prescott can't carry the load. Yeah, he can't do the running, and he can't stop the run, too. That's, that's where Dak sucks. But Derrick Henry, in the course of last year on a bad team, had 280 carries, 1,167 yards, 4.2 yards a carry, and 12 TDs. That's a guy, instead of us doing what we did, which was taking a fourth-round pick and getting Trey Lance, and I'm not saying that that was a bad move, but that's not a move that would have helped us last year. And we needed to do moves that would have helped us last year. I'm sorry. It was malpractice to think that taking Tony Pollard, Tony Pollard who had been a scat back, a third down specialist, a guy who was a part time running back, sharing time with Zeke Elliott, who had injury issues, to now think we can just get rid of Zeke, pay him more money, and he can do the job of both of them. When running between the tackles, which was painful to watch this year, it was painful to watch us trying to run the ball between the tackles. And I remember when on one of the games where Tony Pollard, instead of going to the pylon, decided to turn in and try and go in the middle. It didn't work. It's too light in the ass. And he's hesitant when you have to put your head down. I was talking to my buddy Lawrence upstairs, you know, and he, we were talking about Pacheco. Pacheco's not a big guy. But he runs like he's got an attitude and he runs like a demon. When the whole, he hits that hole like right now, and I'm going to hit it with force, that you may take me down, but you're going to feel it 
when you do. And we did not have that guy on on our roster. So now you got Derrick Henry, and this is goes back to what I always say about the Cowboys. Always seem to be making the moves a couple of steps late instead of um, making a move that should be preactive, you know, planning ahead and looking and saying, okay, we're moving on from Zeke to save some money, but we can't move on from Zeke's production. We need to go ahead and get more production from the spot. We did nothing to try and do that. Absolutely, positively nothing. We just assumed that, you know, running backs, like they literally said, don't matter. Well, turns out running backs, they do matter, and we definitely need to get one. And as crazy as this sounds, people, as crazy as it sounds, I know it sounds crazy. But everybody, you know, especially you 49, you bang, bang, Niner gang dudes that are all swearing that Brock Purdy is the greatest quarterback of all time are just like the same Eagle fans that last year were saying that Jalen Hurts is the greatest quarterback of all time. But when Jalen Hurts had the best offensive line, had two great wide receivers in Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown, had a great tight end in Dallas Goddard, when you and, and a great running attack, you know, with multiple pieces, you don't have to be as good as somebody who doesn't. It's a lot easier to play quarterback when they have to defend the whole field. And the Cowboys, unfortunately, nobody was scared of a running game. Nobody was scared of a running game. The fact that Dak got 36 TD passes and only nine interceptions being one-dimensional is crazy. It just is. But we are going to need, if we're, we're talking about trying to go to a Super Bowl or go past the first or second round of the playoffs, that's when you truly have to have a running game. So, yes, Derrick Henry, that's what going all in looks like. Going and getting guys like that, going in and getting guys like, um, oh, geez, I'm having brain farts. Um, just going in and getting guys that are premier players instead of bargain basement guys. Um, Patrick Queen, I'm just sorry, I'm having a brain fart here. But getting guys like Patrick Queen that can help fill the gaps, a guy that can tackle guys and plays downhill. That's what this team's missing. And I dare say that you get a Derrick Henry running up the middle and driving through and picking up a couple of yards, that's the kind of player that will spark a team. These are all things that when you talk about going all in, that's what it looks like. And we're going to 